Hello my precious friends, I really hope that you are doing great. Welcome to our today's class. It's our sixth lesson on a given form 4 mathematics topic called differentiation. So we are looking at our 13th example, which is a past cases equation that was tested in the year 2015, paper 1, question number 24. It reads that the gradient of the curve y is equals to 2x cubed minus 9x squared plus px minus 1 at the point when x is equal to 4 is 36. Part A of the question, we are required to find, Roman 1, the value of p. So to get the value of p, we're going to use the given value. So we are given the gradient of this particular curve at the point when x is equal to 4. For us to get the gradient, we first of all need to have what we call the uh, gradient function. Now the gradient function is always given by the derivative, that is uh, dy dx, which will be equal to we differentiate this part, of course, the 3 will pre-multiply our coefficient so that we end up with 2 uh, multiplied by 3. Then, of course, x to the power of 3, we subtract 1 from the power. Then, of course, the 2 will pre-multiply the coefficient. So we'll have minus 9 uh, multiplied by 2, uh, x to the power of 2, we subtract 1 from the uh, power. Then plus uh, p, of course, this means that it was x power 1, therefore, uh, the p will pre-multiply uh, with 1, then of course x power 1, we subtract 1 from the uh, power. Then this one means it was x power 0, therefore we're going to have negative 1 multiplied by 0, then of course x to the power of 0 minus 1. So this will disintegrate uh, into the following, uh, 2 by 3, we're going to get uh, 6, uh, x to the power of 3 minus 1, I'll get power 2, then minus 9 by 2, I'll get uh, 18. Then of course, uh, x to the power of 2 minus 1, I'll get power 1. Then plus p times 1, I'm going to get uh, p. Then of course, x power 1 minus 1, I'll get 0. Then of course, negative 1 times 0 times x power negative 1 will just give us 0. Anything multiplied by 0, that term is going to uh, disappear. Therefore, we'll remain with uh, 6x squared. Then of course minus uh, 18x then plus uh, p because x power 0 is 1 1 multiplied by p you are just going to get uh, p now we were told that the gradient of this particular curve at the point when x is 4 is uh, 36 therefore dy dx the dy dx at the point when x is equals to 4 of course will be given by the following so where there is x, we substitute with 4. So this will be 6 into uh, 4 squared, then minus 18 uh, into uh, 4, then of course plus p. We are told that this particular gradient at the point when x is 4 is 36. Therefore, the dy dx at the point when x is 4 should be equal to 36. So this will be equal to uh, 6, then of course into uh, 4 squared, uh, that will be... 16 then minus 18 of course multiplied by 4 uh, then plus p should give us uh, 36 so 6 uh, multiplied by uh, 16 your calculator should give you a uh, 96 uh, then minus 18 by 4 that is a uh, 72 and uh, then of course plus p is equals to a uh, 36 therefore a uh, 96 minus 72 we're going to get a positive uh, 24. Then, of course, uh, plus p should give us a uh, 36. Therefore, it means the value of p will be equal to 36 minus uh, 24, which is going to give us the value of p to be equal to uh, 12. Therefore, our p is 12. Therefore, it implies that uh, the equation was supposed to be y is equals to uh, 2x uh, cubed. Then, of course, minus 9 x squared then plus our p our p is 12 huh? therefore this was uh, 12 x because it was px therefore the p is 12 so this will be 12 x then minus 1 so that was the uh, original equation so part a roman 1 they wanted us to get the value of p so that is our value of p is equal to uh, 12. now from this particular point uh, we are going to move to part b that is part A, Roman 2 of the question. So in Roman 2, uh, the examiner wants us to get the following. Uh, the equation of the tangent to the curve at the point when x is equal to 0 0.5. To get the gradient, 
that is the tangent at uh, the equation of the tangent we need to have the gradient and of course uh one point so we are going to get the gradient uh the gradient of the curve at the point when x is 0 0.5 uh? so we we'll say uh the gradient of the tangent the gradient uh of the tangent uh will always be equal to uh the gradient of the curve which is dy dx at the point when x is equal to 0 0.5 so of course this will be equal to our dy dx when x is 0 0.5 we had already gotten our dy dx as uh, this equation here so this was a uh, 6 uh, x squared 6 x squared minus uh, 18 x then plus p of course we got our p as being a uh, positive 12. so this will be equal to uh, 6 into our x now is 0 0.5 uh, because we want the gradient at the point when x is 0 0.5 so this will be 0 0.5 uh, squared then minus uh, 18x x is uh, 0 0.5 uh, then of course plus uh, 12 so this will be equal to uh, 6 into 0 0.5 squared uh, our calculator will give us 0 0.25 uh, then minus uh, 18 into 0 0.5 then of course uh, plus uh, 12 so this will be equal to 6 multiplied by 0 0.25 you'll get 1.5 then uh, negative 18 multiplied by 0 0.5 this will give us a uh, negative uh, 9 then of course plus 12 so you take 1.5 uh, minus 9 plus 12 your character will give you 4.5 therefore it means that uh, the gradient uh, the gradient of the tangent which is equal to the gradient of the curve at the point when x is 0 0.5 was 4.5 which in fraction form will be 9 over 2. now we have the gradient what we are missing is uh, a point so that we can easily compute our uh, equation of that particular uh, tangent now to get the point we're gonna substitute uh, the value of x in our original uh, equation so the given equation was uh, this one here so when x is 0 0.5 we need to get the corresponding value of y so we'll say when x when x is 0 0.5 uh y will be equal to the original equation of y was 2x cubed uh 2x cubed minus 9x squared then plus a uh, 12x then of course minus 1 so when x is uh 0 0.5 uh y will be equal to 2 into x is 0 0.5 so we'll have 0 0.5 uh, cubed then of course minus 9 into 0 0.5 uh, squared then plus 12 into 0 0.5 then of course minus 1 so this will be equal to uh, we'll have 2 into 0 0.5 uh, cubed you'll get 0 0.125 then minus 9 into 0 0.5 squared you'll get 0 0.25 uh, then plus uh, 12 into 0 0.5 then of course minus 1 so this will be equal to 2 multiplied by 0 0.125 you'll get 0 0.25 then minus 9 times 0 0.25 your character will give you a 2.25 then of course plus uh 12 times 0 0.5 you'll get positive 6 then minus 1 you feed this on the calculator your y will be equal to a uh, 3 therefore it means that uh, the point through which the tangent is passing through will be given by uh, x comma y of course which will be given by uh, 0 0.5 so 0 0.5 then comma the y is a uh, 3 therefore this is our coordinate now to get the equation since we already have the gradient we can easily get the equation so i'll pick the point uh, 0 0.5 uh, comma uh, 3 and let this to be my x1 and uh, then of course y1 then i'll pick a general point x comma y uh, then of course this will be my x1 that is uh, x2 then this is y2 then of course the gradient uh, the gradient of the tangent is 9 over 2 now we can easily get the equation of our tangent so the equation will be given by the following remember the gradient is always given by change in y over change in x y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so the gradient is 9 over 2 so 9 over 2 is equals to 
our y2 is y minus y1 is uh, 3 then of course over x2 is x minus uh, x1 is 0 0.5 then we'll do cross multiplication so this will multiply with that so we'll have 9 uh, into x minus 0 0.5 uh, being equal to uh, this will multiply with that so we'll have 2 into y minus 3 so this will give us 9x then minus 9 times 0 0.5 will get uh, 4.5 uh, being equal to 2y minus 2 by 3 I'll get 6 so that means uh, I'm having 9x minus uh, 4.5 uh, I'll take this one to the other side to make it positive 6 is equals to 2y so 9x uh, negative 4.5 uh, plus 6 negative 4.5 plus 6 your calculator will give you positive 1.5 then of course this one is equals to a uh, 2y so to get the value of y I'm gonna divide through uh, by 2 divide through by 2 divide through by 2 so that means our y will be given by the following so of course these two will cancel out so y will be equal to 9 over 2x 9 over 2x then plus 1.5 divided by 2 will get uh, 3 over uh, 4 3 over 4 therefore this is what we are calling the equation of the tangent uh, to the curve through the point when x is 0 0.5 so y is equals to 9 over 2x uh, then plus 3 quarters then we check uh, part B of the question where we are told to find the coordinates of the turning points of the uh, curve. Now we know that at the turning point, at the turning uh, point, at the turning point, we said that at the derivative, that is dy dx, must always be equal to zero. Since you already have our dy dx from part A, remember the dy dx was equal to the following. Uh, we were to differentiate uh, this particular equation now. Huh? So the equation was uh, y is equals to uh, y is equals to 2x cubed. Uh, let me first of all write the equation. So the given equation was y is equals to uh, this was uh, 2x cubed. This is 2x uh, cubed. Then uh, minus 9x squared minus 9x uh, squared. Then of course uh, plus 12x minus 1 plus uh, 12x minus 1. Therefore our dy dx uh, will be equal to, we differentiate this, this we had already given as uh, 6x squared then minus 2 by 9 that was 18x then this was plus uh, 12. The derivative was giving us 12. Now we are saying that at the turning point, the dy dx should be equal to zero. Therefore, this should be equal to zero. So it means that we're gonna remain with the equation of y x squared, uh, that is six x squared minus 18 x, uh, then plus 12 is equals to zero. I can reduce this equation by dividing through by six. So over six, over six, over six, uh, over six. So we're gonna remain with x squared, uh, then minus this will be 3x 12 over 6 that will be 2 is equals to 6 over 0 uh, that is 0 over 6 will give us a 0 so clearly this is a quadratic in the form ax squared plus a bx then plus c is equals to 0 so of course the coefficient is 1 so clearly the value of a will be 1 the value of b will be negative 3 then the value of c will be a positive 2 so our product will be equal to AC, which is equals to 1, multiplied by C, which is 2. So this will give us 2. Then the sum is the value of B, which is equals to negative 3. So the two numbers, of course, will be 2 into 2, that is 1. So the numbers will be 2 and 1. So the numbers are 2 and uh, 1. But we need, when we multiply, we get a positive 2. When we add, we get negative a three so of course i'll add a negative and a negative here negative two times negative one you get positive two negative two minus uh, that is plus negative one you get negative a three once we do that we substitute in the original equation which was uh, x squared then we'll substitute the value of b we substitute this value here so that will be plus negative two uh, minus one close the bracket x then i continue with the equation uh, plus two is equals to zero 
So on opening the brackets, uh, this is what we are going to get. When we open the brackets, this will be x squared. Uh, negative 2 times x will get negative 2x, then minus 1x, then plus 2 is equals to 0. So the common factor between uh, the first two terms, this one here, of course, will be uh, x. So we're going to have uh, x into x, then minus uh, 2. Then I'll factor out negative 1. So minus 1 into this will be x also minus 2 is equals to 0. So we'll end up with x minus 1. That is I'm picking the outer uh, values. Then of course I pick one of the uh, brackets, which is x minus 2 is equals to 0. So it means uh, either it means either x minus 1 is equals to 0, which implies that um, x is equals to uh, when this one moves to the other side, it will be 1. Huh? So x is equals to 1. Or the other case is that when x minus 2 will be equal to 0, that is the second bracket, therefore x will be equal to a uh, positive 2. So x is 1 and of course a uh, positive 2. Now they want the coordinates. A coordinate is always made up of the value of x and y. So we need to get the corresponding values of x and uh, y. So remember the original equation was uh, y is equals to uh, 2 x cubed uh, minus 9x, uh, 9x squared, then of course plus a uh, 12x, then minus 1. That was this original equation here. So when x, when x is equals to 1, uh, y will be equal to uh, 2 into 1 cubed, then of course minus 9 into 1 squared, then plus 12 into 1, then minus 1. So this will be equal to a uh, 2 into 1, then minus 9, into 1 then of course plus 12 uh, uh, into 1 then of course minus 1. On simplifying these particular equations uh, this is what we're going to end up with. So we'll have our y being equal to 2 minus 9 uh, plus 12 minus 1. So this one is going to give us a 2 minus uh, 9 of course this will be negative 7 then 12 minus 1 this will be positive 11. Negative 7 plus 11 will get positive 4. It means that the first coordinate was x comma y, of course, which will be equal to our x. When x is uh, 1, our y is 4. So the first coordinate is 1 comma uh, 4. That is our first turning point. Then we also say when x, when x is equal to the second value of x is uh, 2, y will be equal to, we substitute in this equation here. So we'll have 2 into uh, so the question was um, uh, 2x cubed minus 9x squared uh, plus 12x minus 1. So our y will be equal to 2 into, our x is now 2, so we'll have 2 cubed minus 9 into uh, 2 squared, then of course plus 12 into 2, then minus 1. So this will be equal to 2 into 2 cubed, that is uh, 8, minus 9 into 2 squared, that is 4, then of course plus 12 into 2, then minus 1. So this will be uh, 16, that is 2 by 8, minus 9 by 4, of course we'll get uh, 36, then 12 times 2, that is uh, 24, then minus 1. So this will be equal to, uh, this 2 will give me negative uh, 20, then plus 23. So negative 20 plus 23, this will give, will give me a 3. Therefore, it means that the second turning point will be when x was 2, uh, y was equal to uh, 3. Therefore, we're going to say that our turning points, remember we are not told to find or to identify the nature of the turning points. Huh? Therefore, we'll just conclude and say our turning points, uh, the two turning uh, points will be uh, the first one. Of course, we got it here. It will be 1, 4. And the second turning point is 2, 3. Thank you very much for accompanying me until the end of this particular lesson. And don't take it for granted. In case you're new to this channel, kindly hit the subscribe button and also turn on the notification bell so that whenever I upload a new video, you'll get notified. Until next time, this is Kind Tuition Academy. Thank you very much.